Hello, I am Jan from Prague, the Czech Republic. And in this video, we will explore these remarkable lenses from Canon in the world of virtual reality. They can, among other things, help us to create shots like you can see right now. YouTube can display a control wheel, which gives us control over what you see and you can zoom in and zoom out and look left, look right and uh, watch the video in the way you really want. Before we really start, just a quick clarification of what you are actually seeing. It might be confusing and I know it. So this is Adobe Premiere Pro, one of the key parts of the adventure we are just about to explore. The Adobe can combine these two shots which are recorded by the dual lenses. So that's just the first explanation, we'll get to it later. The second point is, uh, typically when we speak about virtual reality, you'd expect that we'd be playing with headsets or glasses, simply these fancy things which help you to create the feeling. But uh, I was frankly quite surprised that very important part of that might be just uh, played by simply uploading videos to YouTube. And uh, we'll get to headsets, to glasses in one of the next videos. But in that part, I would just like to concentrate on the possibility to use YouTube for showing things like this. And if you really want to get the feeling about that topic, just go to that amazing Canon video. It will really explain it to you within a couple of seconds. So what is important to know? Uh, Canon has introduced a new dual lens Canon RFS 3.9. And uh, it's quite important because they are meant to be cheaper alternative to the original uh, Canon lens, which by the way was used uh, to record uh, these shots. And uh, what is really important about that world of dual fish eye lenses is that they really open up to new opportunities. What is important? I will be leaving many, many details aside because there are so many different issues you have to fix. What really matters is just to give you some feeling about what can be done and uh, well, that <laughs> it's really worth exploring it. So the point number one is to record the footage, but as you have already seen, the Premiere Pro combines these two shots, the views of both lenses. Before we do this, uh, we have to work with something which is called VR utility. It's free for videos up to two minutes and you can just see it here in the action. Basically what you need to do is to upload your footage like I did here and then you have the option to well do some basic stuff. You can uh, well set for instance the view to fish eye or uh, you can do some things like parallax correction. Let's see how it works. And again, I, I think these details are not what I want to play with today because, uh, again, the, the, the exact technology is evolving and it would require a separate video, which I'll hope to do sooner or later. But at this point, the key thing is if you want to play, it's very easy to start. If you have the footage, you can start combining it. And then uh, you have to do a next step, which in my case was Premiere Pro. Uh, actually, you do not necessarily need uh, to download EOS VR utility because uh, there is a plugin directly for Premiere Pro. So you can download a plugin and do all that stuff directly here. So the basic idea is that you just open the export file and you can play with it. You can do many things. The key thing is that you are able to see what the result would look like. I have to say I really like this sequence because it really gives you a hint of why that might be important, not only for players or some technical geeks. Uh, I, I really think for just a simple presentations of products, this can really be uh, tempting and helpful and useful. And do not forget, if I upload that to uh, YouTube, you not only are able to study the color of uh, my shoes, but also you can zoom to the product. I would be able to zoom to the Canon and see every single detail. And uh, I think this is really important. And uh, I was quite 
impressed by all that. So let's see some more examples. From my perspective, I will already mentioned that one is one of the best, I think, because it really gives you the feeling of, uh, well, the new camera and well, of the new lenses. The opening sequence is quite impressive as well, I have to admit, because as you can see, uh, that's me <laughs> speaking and uh, you see a lot of uh, gear details and you can zoom there and back and uh, I again have to admit I was surprised that it's not just a toy for kids. This is a real thing which might be useful in real life. One more example, well, it looks like from a horror movie. I hope you won't be too scared, but you have these two things moving there and back and I'm standing here in the middle of field and uh, again you are able to look there and back and yeah here I am and of course we are seeing only 2D but if you have these uh, headsets or glasses you would be able to see me in 3D which I'm not sure if I really want you to do. And one more example and one more footage of myself again in that great space and you can read everything and study every single detail of the scene. So I really think it makes sense. So I do hope you had a chance to see at least a bit of what that little great piece of technology can do. And again, I have to repeat that I was quite impressed. I wasn't sure if really this is something I should be doing video about, but I am glad I did because it opens new possibilities. And yes, it's a part of gear that might be actually much more useful than we think now. So I hope your travels to 3D might be useful as well. Take care. I am Jan from Prague, the Czech Republic.